All right, we're playing Marth Fox. Now we're on Dreamland. Gonna be good for Fox to move around. Good for him to wave dash back. And I did not get my fast fall. Good edge dash from the Fox, or at least a decent one. We're gonna keep that in mind. No tippers coming out from me, so he's gonna keep getting more chances. We're gonna up E, push him out. Oh, went right around my move, that is okay. And he could have gone high, could have gone around my uh, up B there, or my back here. That's okay. That was a great reverse there. Um, really kept him kept him having pressure by having to do too much there. But yeah, as we can see, this guy's tech isn't uh, super strong. As you can see, the dash kind of just lets it stall out there. Maybe it was on purpose, but um, as you can see, he's getting on platform, getting a little stuck. Has a lot of good ideas, has okay edge dashes. We are calling them out now. They're not perfect, they're just okay. He's getting on stage with some um, glint. As you can see, no uh, shine there on that Nair as well. I think that was probably supposed to be a downer, not a run-up up smash. So you can see some of the tech issues coming out. Um, spacing back here, very interesting decision. Marth, obviously, since Marth leans low to the ground, um, Fox back here, not going to be the most threatening thing to him. I tried to go the wrong way. That is okay. We're going to charge a little bit. Oh, you've seen a little bit of charges coming out today. Why do an early attack when you can do a bit of a charge? Get a little bit more distance. Make things a little bit harder for them to recover. They had a good idea with... Um, they had a really good idea with uh, pushing me off the stage there, but they weren't able to follow it up. And we're just going to kind of go back in. We were able to outrain them. We were able to hit harder them, and that did go really well for us. So this person was over committing with their aerials a lot. Attacking from really far away on the platform like that, really good way to get punished. Um, holding shield, big issue. I didn't want to spike the motor, felt a little bit bad about it, so that's the reason why that didn't happen. Oh, a little greedy. I think they were mashing to get out of grab or something, not entirely sure. So again, a lot of good ideas coming out. That's a good that's a good indicator. What is that a good indicator of? That you don't want to do up throw on Fox at that percent on the stage because they canceled on platform immediately. You have to keep that in mind. So we're going to come down. We're going to forward smash. He's attacking from far away, like I said. And we're just going to go for the tipper. It does start over Mart's head a little bit behind him even, so you can actually get reverse tipper F smash if you're very particular. And that's how we're going to be able to get that punish. We're just going to take a little bit of extra damage so that we can do that. If I didn't get the extra pummel, that wouldn't have happened. Just goes to show you the power of percent, the power of those little pummels, really making a big difference. Again, a lot of people on platform, what do they want to do? They want to shield drop. We're just going to go ahead and punish. Um, tipper forward air is going to allow us to get that set up. If we were not tippering, it would be very different. You have to know Mars hitboxes. I actually want to be a grab there, but that is okay. Dash back is going to allow us to perfectly avoid that. And then that was a great edge dash coming out from this fox. So we're just gonna keep moving away. As we can see, this person really likes coming in. So we don't, we're not gonna like complicate things. We're just gonna keep moving away. We have a dash. We don't have to move out of it right away. We can just do another dash. I just wanna do sub B for fun. But yeah, so that was just a little bit of style at the end. It could have been, you know, much simpler. I didn't have to make things so complicated, but I just want to have a little bit of fun there at the end. Um, just goes to show you this person was over committing to their attacks quite a bit. They could have done more partial attacks, more pullbacks, more nair, dare pullbacks, or more overshoots with like dash attack or down tilt, um, running shine a little bit farther, run up and grab. There various things they could have done, even up smash would have been fine as well. I wasn't shielding, so they wouldn't they had no reason to worry about that. I often don't crouch cancel out of my dash as well, but of course they didn't know that because they weren't doing things like that were getting punished by that so much, just dash back grab. So since they were doing so many approaching arrows, I was able to just get a um, pivot grab and get the punish on them was able to punish a little bit harder um obviously they did get the shine early on but that is okay um that was their main punish otherwise we were able to get a lot harder punishes and we also showed in the first game the importance of making sure you get your fast falls appropriately timed on your up air so you can get your appropriate combo strings very important especially on dreamline where you can't often get um forward smashes or up tilts so anyway ggs dad hands thank you for playing you talked about punishing shield drop how do you do this as marth you just space up well you saw what i did right this guy he would he would get on the platform, he would immediately fall down with back air if he was facing me or down air if he was facing the other way. So you just get close, let him do it, then you move back and then you just wait for him to do it. You run in and grab him. Now we're playing Marth Chief. We don't have as much room to move back. We are on a more confined stage. And as you can see, we're playing right outside of F tilt range. You can see we just went for the dodge right there. And there's a double jump by edge. Now with Sheik, you want to grab the edge by usually up B snapping to edge. You do a double jump like that, very exploitable for Marth. Sheik doing a um, down tilt there, very good. Um, down smash there, not so good. Oops, I don't know why I'm on edge. That was okay. So again, we're faking, we're waiting. We really want to wait out. Hold down at this percent. Oops. 
Or we're just gonna take a cheeky reverse tipper back here. Why not? It worked against us before, working for us now. Stay just out of range of Sheik's F tilt. You do that, you can even punish uh you can punish this. Whoa, oh, not quite. That's okay. Oh, almost. Moving in, we're right outside of F tilt. Right outside of F tilt. You can see it, chat. Always stay right outside of F tilt. Go out with back here. No need to just wait on edge for Sheik to get close. You can go out there as Marth. And in fact, it's very good to do so. So even though Sheik went and got us here, it doesn't matter. And they're going to go ahead, and I think that was supposed to be a, a B. I did try to time a downer to get the punish instead, but um, they went for the chain, trying to get an angled um, a B1 to get momentum as soon as they started it, which is fair, but you have to be very careful because chain can start. Anyway, GG Levensky, thank you for playing. All right, Falco Fox FD. Falco's going to be able to control Fox with lasers very well. Fox does not have the advantage of platforms to get out. They do have really good SDI. We're going to have to walk a little bit, as you can see right there. And that is going to be playing off their really good SDI. The Force Smash is going to send them even farther. Oh, my forward smash. So as you can see, their DI was absolutely insane. Allowed them to break a lot of punishes. We're going to have to be very conscious of our combos from this point. We have platforms that will be able to help us out a little bit, assuming they're not able to edge cancel. Oops. I just made a mistake there. That's okay. Finally got him holding out again. And so we're just going to do down air, unstable other moves a little bit. I actually shielded. Battlefield having not the biggest ledge, gonna make sure we can get the punish right there. We're gonna go high, make it hard for them to get to us. <laughs> Holy moly, this person's got crazy DI. We will absolutely take that trade. That is perfectly fine. That's going to be a kill. Even if we were at 150, that'd still be worth it. So again, as you can see, different stage ended up leading to a very different result for both of us. Why? Because I was much more mindful of the up smashes and I was making sure I had a larger stage space to stay away. He made me respect his approaches so much more by pressuring me when I was closer before. So what did I do? Stayed about the same range, but a little bit farther away. Played a little more passive. I would shoot some lasers, kind of wait, let him hang himself. I knew he wanted to come in with Nair, wanted to come in with up smash. Sitting under the platform, I knew he can no longer hit me with full up Nair. Why? The platform is above me. He can land on the platform, cannot land on me. Sometimes he'd land on the platform, shield drop through. We just move away. We punished him as a result of that as well. Just goes to show you the power of adaptation there as well. But also, it's very important to note that the platforms could have helped me some as well. Why? Because I hit him. I no longer had to play an SDI mix-up. I knew I wanted to shine him as a result of getting the first shine. And we didn't want to tech chase. We want to push him up and out, ideally. But if he's going to take the extra damage, he's going to have to go to the middle. It's going to give me extra free damage. So instead, I made sure I tried to push him out. He started DIing out, SDIing out. So I gave it slightly easier edge guards. And even though his angles were crazy, we were still able to get a trade or just an outright kill. He tried to go for some quick cheeky recoveries because he didn't want to play recovery mix-ups. But thankfully for me on Battlefield, there's the wall. There's no wall to ride. The edge... It, Box may be smaller, and this all worked in my favor. Anyway, GG's Trio, thank you for playing.